you've been to your local electronics store, you've undoubtedly run across one of these, you know, a box. It's something called a TiVo. Even though that's a brand name, it's, it's now being known as a generic name for a PVR, also known as a personal video recorder. PVR. It's kind of like a VCR that records and plays back video. Essentially, instead of using a tape, one of these things, it uses a hard drive. And the, the reason, if you just think about it for a second, the reason why it's better to use a hard drive than it is one of these, have you ever had one of these, these things, these VHS tapes get eaten? It's horrible. See, call for help in case I missed it. Because uh, even though I never miss my show, because I'm always doing it. Well, essentially, a PVR is something that you can have either standalone like this. Of course, this would not be in your computer. Or you could have it, as we're going to show you today, in your computer, in your, P in, in your PC, a PVR in your PC. So what you have to do in order to think of this PVR, think of it like a TiVo. And TiVo, of course, is a relatively new technology that will allow you to run live TV streams through your television, but then pause live television. And a lot of people are going, huh? How can it do that? Well, because it's recording. As it's playing back through your television, just a regular television set, it's actually recording it. So it can stop it right where you want it to stop, and of course, it'll keep on recording. So you can pause live television. It's true. That's how it happens. The data comes down through the TV signal like normally, goes through TiVo, and then as the data goes through TiVo, it's recorded and stored inside there. So instead of recording to a VHS tape like this, like a VCR would do, it's recorded onto a hard drive, and that's how it works on one of these boxes. But of course, there's also stuff that you can get hardware as well as software that you can get for your computer. Now, there's different types of hardware that you can get for it. Now, the first thing you need to make sure is that it can accept video. That's the big thing. And the big card, the big company that's known for video and video cards is ATI. And ATI has a Radeon video card. It's called the All in Wonder. And this is what it looks like here. Let me hold it up. It looks just like a regular video card. And it's, it's got all the designs and circuitry and everything. And ooh, look, a little, a little coolant fan there, a cooler. So uh, yeah, 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 basically, this, is, this was going to replace your video card inside your PC. Now, that's if you want to upgrade your video card. So that's one option. You can completely upgrade your video card and get something that will allow you to record live television on your PC for later playback. Or you could get something that attaches to the outside of it. And this is a hop hog. I believe this is a, uh, this is a pinnacle. Yeah, this is a pinnacle, actually. And this is something that plugs in with a USB connection. See, there's my USB connector right there. And this is good if you already have a video card that you don't want to get rid of, or if you want a solution that's going to sit outside your system instead of inside your system. Of course, the only problem with that is, is that, again, it's using USB, so it's not going to have as much bandwidth as a card normally would. So that's a, that's a caveat to, uh, to using that. But again, it's good if you don't have to, if, if, if you don't want to open up your box you would be able to use something like this. So here we've got, let's pretend we've got this one. Actually, the one I'm talking about, we've got the hop hog. I think that's how you pronounce it. Hooked into this PC right now. And this is how we're going to turn our PC into a PVR. Now, we've pre-recorded some shows just because if I was playing live television right now and it's a click of the button, if I played it right now, then you would get like a mirror effect. You know, have you ever like held a mirror up to a mirror and it just goes on forever like infinity and stuff? That's what would happen here. So I'm actually going to show you a couple streams that we saved earlier. Just a live, we used a live television stream. Here's a, a segment of audio from audio file that we had done earlier. As soon as I drag and drop it and see if it's a, uh, oh, it disappeared there. Let's go. All right. Now we should play. This one, and this is something that, that we noticed too. This is kind of slow. <laughs> see how long it took? No. Oh, I drag and dropped it again. I, it was so slow, I thought it was stuck. But no, it's slow. It moves very slowly. That's one bad thing. Oh. Live television, look at me. Oh my gosh. I get a close up on that. I paused live television. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that, folks. Honestly, that didn't mean to happen. I got this look on my. I look like Elvis. Uh huh. Uh huh. This is pretty funky. So I'm going to drag and drop that file in there again. Watch how long it takes. It's going to take about 10 seconds or so. That's one thing, we, again, that we noticed. <laughs> Not this, this dorky looking guy, but it takes a while. With the video going on, it's very intense uh, on your system resources. So it may take a while for video to go back and forth, but again, it's a solution that if you don't want to go out and buy a unit, a TiVo, and if you're tired of VCRs, you could use your computer. And it's, it's, it looks very much like a television. And from here, gosh, let's try it again. Like I said, sometimes it just takes a while. 
It doesn't want to go. So that's okay. It, 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 it's either moving very slowly today or it's not happy right now. And of course, it's running Windows 98. And Windows 98 is known to be cranky with stuff like this, but that's okay. So some advantages uh, of using this. Um, obviously, you've got hard drive space that you're not going to use for anything else or if you don't want to go out and buy expensive hardware. Uh, that's some advantage. Disadvantages could be that, you know, it, if, you, if you don't have a computer and you want to record live television, you don't want to buy a computer just to record television. You know, you'd buy something like this. Another advantage, a disadvantage you see, sometimes it, you get stuck. I mean, it's, there's a, it's, it's delay. It's got a little pause thing on it right now, and I think that's because it's live television, and I don't want to, like, get the mirror effect image thing going more than it is right there. That's crazy. Um, I'm going to try it again, see what happens. Nope. No, I'm locked. It's... It's locked up. Don't you love computers, folks? See, it even happens to geeks like me, dorks like me. So anyway, it's harder to set up. You're going to run into problems like this. But again, it's a relatively cheap solution. You can find something for 100 bucks, maybe a little more. Again, if you've got space for your, your it, my personal choice, if you have space for your, in your stereo and your real television, I suggest getting a standalone box. But again, if you want to burn easily to CD, keep these videos for later, and use your PC for a television, You'd be good to go with something like this.